In this video, we're going to take a look at the Gevinol GX Shifter, a unique take on the road bricker that allows you to shift Shimano mountain bike derailleurs. Is this the perfect shifter for your next gravel bike packing or bike touring bike? Find out in this video. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you're interested in things like bike touring, bike packing, and bike fishing, then definitely subscribe. This channel is for you. And before I jump into the review, I want to just make a quick mention that if you guys have been enjoying these reviews and want to support the channel financially for as little as three bucks a month, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below. So jumping right in, I've been using the Gevinol GX shifters on my Salsavaya for the last couple months and I've finally uh, collected all my thoughts and feelings about the shifter and I'm ready to review them just for you guys. So if you're not familiar with Gevinol, they're a company based in Portland, Oregon, and they specialize in making uh, components for the cyclocross and gravel scene. So they make a variety of different kinds of shifters. They have a model called the Audax, which is all friction all the time. They have a shifter that works with Shimano road derailleurs. They've got a model that works with uh, internally geared hubs. But this review is specifically on their GX shifter. And what that means is that it's optimized for working with Shimano mountain bike Dynasys rear derailleurs. So for this uh, shifter to work on your bike, uh, one, you've got to have a Shimano rear mountain bike derailleur and it's gotta be Dynasys compatible. And what that means, I think at least from reading stuff online, is that that denotes a certain amount of cable pull. And uh, what's kind of problematic is if you look at your rear derailleur, it's not gonna say Dynasys on it. Uh, you're just gonna have to do some research to see what model year it came out and if it is a Dynasys rear derailleur. So the Gebenol shifters themselves are based around a Tektro brake lever. And on top of that brake lever, they've machined other parts in Portland. And on top of those machine parts are some specially modified micro shift uh, shifters that are then assembled all together in Portland and sent out to you. Installing the Gevinol GX shifters was actually a breeze, even for someone like me, who is not the most mechanically inclined person, but I was able to figure it out. Essentially, if you've ever installed bar end shifters or down tube shifters, you can probably figure out how to put on the Gevinol GXs. So on this set, I have a two by 10 uh, shifter combination. The left side, which moves the front derailleur, is all friction all the time. And the action to move it from small chain ring to big chain ring is super light and smooth. Even compared to Shimano and SRAM brifters I've used, I think that the action to move the front derailleur on these Gevinels is really nice and light. And on the right hand side, I've got a 10 speed shifter pod and it shifts nice and crisply uh, most of the time. I'll get to that in a little bit. One neat trick that the shifter has is by loosening the head of the shifter with a four millimeter Allen key, you can actually flip it over to friction or index. So this is great if, for example, if you crash or somehow bend the derailleur hanger and the index is not working, you can actually just throw it into friction and move the rear derailleur manually and get on your way. Or if you're a retro grouch, which is sometimes myself, you can just run it in all friction all the time uh, just for fun. Another advantage of running it all friction is actually you can mix and match uh, rear derailleurs. Although these are optimized for the Shimano Dynasys uh, rear derailleurs when it's in index mode, if you put it in friction mode, you can actually, actually use any SRAM derailleur or Campy derailleur or whatever derailleur you want to use. So that's it for kind of the features overview of the Gevinoli GX shifters. Now let's go into things that I like and dislike about these shifters. Uh, starting off with the things I like, the first thing I really love about these shifters is the easy installation. If you can install bar end shifters or down tube shifters, you can figure these out. Because of the way the shifter cable goes into the shifter pod, uh, there's no need to kind of weave it through all sorts of pulleys and gears as you would with a more complicated brifter. Another thing I like, and I know this is gonna be a little bit on the subjective side, is that I love the feel of the Tektro brake hoods. They're small, they're not like these huge alien things sticking out of uh, your handlebars, and they're really comfortable in the hand. One interesting, unique advantage of the shifter system is you can basically dump the entire cassette or go up the entire cassette in one big movement. Whereas on other brifters, you have to go in two or three shifts at a time. You could literally sweep across the entire cassette in one go. Another thing I like about the shifter, which wasn't obvious from pictures online, is that the cabling actually allows you to uh, use it with different kinds of bike bags. You can use it with a rando bag 
or with a bag that goes around the handlebars like the North Street Scout 11. And you can simply move the cables around the bag that you have on your bike. Another big like is that the shifters feel really robust. If you look at it, it's a really simple mechanism and it's not very delicate. So if your bike takes a tumble, falls over, someone knocks it over at the cafe, it's probably not gonna destroy your shifter. And even if it does, there's always friction mode. And that leads me to my last big like about the GX shifter, and that is the friction mode. I think it was originally intended as kind of a bailout mode. If you're racing cross and you crash and uh, your derailleur hanger is bent, but you still have to keep racing. But I find that it's actually a great everyday option. I chatted with the folks at Gavinali to see if there'd be any kind of long-term harmful effects if I left it in all friction all the time. And they said no. So if uh, you're a little bit of a retro grouch or if you like to mix and match uh, different rear derailleurs on your bike or different components, then having that friction mode kind of frees you from the tyranny of the different group sets. So those are all my likes. Let's move on to the dislikes. So the first dislike isn't a deal breaker, but it does take some getting used to. If uh, you've been using brifters for a long time, you kind of have to adapt how you hold the shifters. What I found on the right hand shifter is there's a certain point in the shifting arc where I have to switch from a pushing motion to a pulling motion. You do get used to it, but it does take uh, a handful of rides to figure out that sweet spot of how you want to shift uh, the lever. So just be forewarned, it's going to be a little strange at first, but once you get over that initial hump, it's actually really fun to use. So another dislike is that it's really tricky to shift when you're in the drop. So you just need like super long fingers. Uh, in talking to the folks at Gevnal, the thinking was that when you're racing cross, most of, most of the time you're in the hoods. So they've kind of prioritized that shifting position. So if you're someone that's always in the drops and likes to shift in the drops, then these shifters probably aren't for you. Another con, and this might be specific to uh, how I've installed mine, but on a couple gears, I get a little bit of an overshift problem. When I shift into certain lower gears, it'll kind of overshift. There's gonna be some chain rub, but I can trim it back with the shift lever and the sound goes away. So I don't know if it just comes down to my particular insulation or if it's kind of a systemic problem, but that's one thing to be aware of. And the last dislike, it's not so much a dislike as it is kind of a caveat, is that you have to make sure you're using these shifters with a Dynasys rear derailleur, but that's only if you want to use the indexing. Again, if you flip it over into friction mode, you can use whatever rear derailleur you want. So that's it for the likes and dislikes. Uh, overall, I really like these uh, shifters and I'm actually considering getting another pair for my next whatever gravel adventure bike that's gonna be. Uh, they're actually really fun to use. You kind of get that functionality of uh, brifters but a little bit of that retro grouchness in uh, moving the shifter pods around. I love that they're a little quirky and they're definitely a conversation starter amongst fellow bike nerds. Uh, these might not be for everybody, but if you like unique kind of bike products, then this is definitely something uh, you should check out. But beyond just the quirkiness, I, I really do love the robustness of the system. So has anyone out here used these shifters? What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the concept in general? I know it's a little bit different, but these are kind of the products I, I love to share with you guys. So if you guys have any questions, leave those in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.